Hello guys, so today I'm a little closer to my microphone. I didn't realize I was so quiet and I could barely hear the videos that I made. So I figured I'm gonna try a little different setup. So if you see, like this is the mic right here. <laughs> so that's what that is. So today I wanted to talk about why I gave up on minimum wage. And I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds like, um, how did you, what do you mean you gave up on it? So basically I think to stay ideologically sound, I guess, or consistent, really. I had to look at minimum wage and see, you know, where do I stand on that? Because that is a government decided amount that all business owners have to pay right off the top. And at first I thought that was great. I thought it was, you know, a sort of like a insurance for people. So, you know, you're always going to get paid this. But at the same time, if I was able to, I don't know, I really don't know how to put it because even now I'm kind of like, uh, but minimum wage should be good, but it, it's really not, okay? It's really not. We should have the ability to barter or trade or write a contract or whatever for the amount that we want. So how does minimum wage stop that? And this is where I had to really think about it because the arguments being presented to me for minimum wage was <clears throat> that they're not going to, if if you have a minimum wage and the government can just decide how much you have to pay people, that's going to limit the amount of people that you pay or the hours that you're able to pay them for, basically. And then your business is only going to do so well. So I agree with that. And that's where the minimum wage thing comes to me, where it's like, I don't want to let go of it, though, because I've been raised for so long that, or lived in the idea that we have a minimum wage and this is what we pay everybody minimally, and that's fair. I don't think it is anymore. I think if you have, you know, a natural proclivity towards something, or you have... Uh, not history, but you have experience in something, you should be able to pay somebody more than that. And what I mean by that, if you're first entering the work field and let's say you're going to work for a landscaper but and you've had your own grass cutting job, like your whole, let's say high school life basically, or even before that, then that's experience that should be taken in, under consideration and should be able then the guy that you're trying to get hired on should be able to pay you more, right? Or if you don't have that, then he should be able to pay you less. You understand? So I think it should be between the individuals and there shouldn't be a government entity in the middle. And so I had to give up this idea of minimum wage. So just kind of thinking it through that way. And then I went to the Bible. And guys, a lot of times what I do with the Bible is I work it, I, I read things and then think, how can I apply this to my life? So how does this apply to concepts that I know? How does this apply to anything? Does it apply? Does it not? You know, sort of like that. Now, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes I get it really wrong and, you know, that's what church is for. You're supposed to go to church and discuss these things. So what I found was the parable of the laborers in the vineyard. And so starting at the top of my page over here, it says planting, maintaining and harvesting vineyards in first century Israel was strenuous work requiring hard physical labor in the heat of summer. Often additional laborers were required to get all the work done. The owner of this particular vineyard went to the marketplace at the first hour of the morning, which is about 6 a.m. to find workers for the day. His offered wage of one denarius, a Roman soldier's pay for a day, was generous indeed. The workers in the first group were more than happy to work for the generous, generous wage. And so this page goes on at gotquestions.org to explain that then later on during the day and later on again, you know, he goes out and he, he offers a job to other people who don't even question how much it is. They just take the job. So the first guys were kind of um, negotiating and well, how much, you know, stuff like that. And then they agreed and then he gave. And the second guys were just, yeah, yeah, we'll work. Why not? Whatever it is you pay us, it'll be more than what we make now, which is nothing. <laughs> so you can see this sort of idea now. 
in that basically if you're making nothing a dollar an hour is better than nothing right people say well that's not a living wage that's not a wage you can do anything with I would debate that because basically if you're making a dollar an hour you don't have any skills you're learning so you should be young you should be living with your parents so you don't need a living wage if you're still in a job where you where you're only you're getting paid low wages something's wrong you've done something wrong basically is what I think you've done something wrong with your life you've made bad choices I mean that could mean that you have to move from your area that could mean you need to work twice as hard maybe two jobs that could mean you need to go to a school or something but that is what I think even now with no schooling and only my experience I make more than minimum wage okay and usually it's 50 cents to a dollar over that's not a lot but it's more so you just have to think about this that part as well the other half of this which I don't think gets really spoken about too much on any sort of conservative talkers or podcasts or anything when we when this is discussed is that the owner should be generous okay he should pay people what he thinks that they are worth for sure but also I think in this example from the Bible here you can see that he should also be generous so generous is not an amount it's not an amount listed per se but it is said that he should be generous all right so to me when I look at this um like this uh oh gosh I can't talk today this laborers in the vineyard here and I see that it's truly truly is an allegory for salvation once you're saved everybody gets the same wage or pay or result basically and that's you get to be in heaven with god woo you know awesome uh that is what that is the the reason why i want, went into christianity after coming out of everything else is that oh who is this god i want to know him um and then you can get like the bible talks about once you get into heaven there are rewards so you can look at that as bonuses really so if you do really well then you, then you know the guy should be giving bonuses if you are able to improve his business you, there should be a bonus in it for you if someone is not operating that way then you should not work for them and this is also a free market idea where if they are not paying a wage that people are willing to take or they're not you know providing bonuses or they're not providing pay that people like or whatever this is a free market thing again where you can walk away from that and and to me reading the parable of the laborers in the vineyard is backup for this free market idea because here this vineyard this man who owns this vineyard goes out and gets people as as the day goes by he pays them what he thinks is right which by the way everybody got this denarius which is apparently high pay during that time and even though the guys in the morning were quite upset with him <clears throat> the guys later on weren't and the point here is that you can do with what is yours what you want to and there shouldn't be a third party person in there telling you what you should be doing okay so that's why I had to give up minimum wage this was supposed to be a way different <laughs> a way different video I actually was gonna write about free market and how you know the Bible supports free market because I believe that it does and again because of this parable of the laborers you get together with whoever is trying to hire and you and that person decide what you pay them maybe it's more than what somebody else gets maybe it's less but either way you and that person decided and your life is in your hands you, you're free to just to figure out you know what are you worth and what can you bring I think in this society right now too much is given to us too much is just decided for us by our government and like especially in the south it seems like there's a lot of parental uh, we decide this for you and that's just how it is and I'm not saying that's completely bad but after a certain age it is okay so the Bible is very much about being a free individual very much about well what 
can you do with your strengths and the gifts that I've given you? And minimum wage doesn't really reflect that. So not only does it re does it not reflect it for my conservative values, because I want less government and less control over what me and somebody else can do, but also my religious ones where I see where God says, you know, you can go and hire people and you and that person need to agree and then that needs to be your contract and you just need to do it. You need to be an honest person. On top of that, if you're the one hiring, you need to be a generous person. The word will get around and you'll have plenty of workers, right? And the what ifs of, well, what if people aren't and that's not how the market works? Well, it is. It is. It's totally based on what you do and what you allow. So if you allow people to pay less by taking the job, right, and not moving off or making your own business where you pay more, things like that, then that is what the, that is what is going to happen. I think the idea that we get, that we get away from a lot of times is that we have so much control, even though we feel like we don't. And it's through our choices and it's through being generous or not. And it's through, you know, taking control or not. So that's all I wanted to say today, guys. Just remember that ultimately there's only one way to figuring out all this, and that is Jesus Christ and reading your Bible every day. So I will see you next time. And hopefully this made sense. It was a bit of a ramble, but uh, I'll see you then. Bye.